Hey guys, welcome to another Jack vlog. Today we're going to be looking over episode 94, or chapter 94, whatever. And for this particular episode, we pick up immediately what happened after 93, which basically was Jack accidentally killed one of the uh, daughters of Aku, and to make his quick escape, he uses Scaramouche's tuning fork weapon to blow up the walls, and then he makes his escape in the water and as he's bleeding. And the, it immediately opens up with him floating across the water, grabbing onto a log as his blood just keeps going around the going leaking around the trail and eventually uh he, he's resting but then he hears a frog come up and then say they're coming and then he has to, and then he starts to panic a little bit and then he reaches on land and then he realizes oh shit i still have the knife in me and it's he's just struggling trying to find a way to heal or whatever he just put, he gets covered in blood he like, puts his hand on a fucking tree, or whatever, and then he sees the scary, spooky samurai figure in the background again, which, there has been this theory going around of three things, like, one, there's my theory that I'm sticking, that I have, which is the guy that took Jack's sword, he's afraid to, he's afraid to confront him again, that's my theory on that. A second theory that has also been going around is that this is for this is a symbol of death. Like, he is afraid of death. And that's what people have been saying about that ghostly figure. And the third theory is that this is the future of what Jack will become in the future. And he is afraid to face that. And he feels, he, he feels that he's not worthy. But I'm not sure. I think... I'm, I'm sticking by my theory, though. I think that's the guy that took Jack's sword. But we'll find out. Uh, anyway, he goes up into this cave, and he's basically just trying to rest and hide from the Daughters of Aku, and allow his wound to heal. He pulls out the knife in the, a very gut-wrenching scene, because you just see it slowly come out, and you can just feel the amount of pain that he's going through. It's like, ugh! Like, just having something that is not supposed to be in there, and just seeing a guy pull it out slowly just is gut-wrenching like ridiculously dude and then after that happens you see uh it cuts the darkness and then you just see jack covered all in blood like ridiculously like you just see the blood and the black figure around there but then he takes out a knife takes out the knife again stands up ready to fight somebody and then lo and behold it's the wolf from the last episode who's also covered in blood. So he just comes in the cave and they just rest together. And yeah, like, I guess the, at first when I saw the episode, I thought it was symbolism for what Jack was going through. That was like, just, just the meaning of symbolism or whatever. But I'm like, all right, so the wolf is alive. That's cool. And after that happens, Jack falls asleep again and then we see something we haven't seen in a long time. At least with the amount of time this show has not been on. We've between these two episodes, with this third episode finally out, we see a flashback. We actually see a flashback. Not trauma. Actual Jack's childhood. We see him as a kid, we see uh, his father, the Emperor, and his mother. Uh the Empress, I believe, and they are just shitting in a car. They just are sitting in a carriage or whatever, just riding along. But then they hear a bunch of people getting slashed and hacked or whatever outside. And the guy outside, one of the bad, one of the bandits says, "Emperor, we killed your men. You're next." And then he just stops the cart, walks out, and says, "I'm going to give you a new." I'm going to give you a new option. Leave here now and live, or stay and face your destiny. And pretty much they're saying, 
You think we're gonna buy your Bushido crap? Really? We're, your your death your death is imminent, old man. And then, without hesitation, Jack's dad takes out his sword and slashes them all. Like just kills them without hesitation. And yeah, that's you see him in. in there's blood blood spurts all over the place. Jack's Jack's eyes get covered in blood. And yeah, that's what happens. Morty, yeah, that's that's what happens. And then we cut back, so... We then cut back to Jack and the wolf just resting by together. And it's just an adorable scene just to see these two together. Because they're just, like, resting by, trying to take care of each other and their wounds. Jack figures that... He, he finds this uh, little clip or whatever, a little claw. Assuming from the wolf or whatever, maybe the wolf gave it to him. Maybe. <laughs> maybe the wolf is more clever than he's letting on. Uh... And he just uh, sews. To, he patches together. He puts stitches on his wound and decides to just stay in the cave for a bit until it properly heals. And so then the wolf comes back and rests with them because they're trying to rest in the cold or whatever. They rest in a fire. They try to heal each other. They try to apply certain things to heal their wounds from their recent attacks. And one of the cutest things ever that happens, like, Jack gets really cold, like, when the fire gets low, and then when he rests, the, the wolf just comes around and just, you, you just see a shot of the, him and the wolf just, like, resting together, and it's one of the most sweet things I've ever seen. So, then after that happens, J Jack uh, heals up, finally, and the, they both go, the wolf and Jack both go their separate ways after that amazing bonding moment. And, uh, Jack once again has a flashback of his dad, and it's a, basically a continuation of what happened previously, where Jack saw his dad kill people, and, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this too, before the wolf came in, Jack actually had another vision of his younger self, but this time he was much more demented and angry and evil, like saying, oh, you killed a person. Well, they're gonna come back for you. What are you gonna do? Should we kill them as well? Or would you rather they come and kill you? And then Jack's like, no. Like, he just doesn't know what to do. And then, yeah, so anyway, back to what I was talking about earlier. We see a continuation of the Jack flashback to his past, or whatever, when he was a kid, talking to his dad because he's trying to wipe off the blood that he's covered in. He just looks over to the kimono and sword, which is all covered in blood. And Jack's dad pretty much just says, "You can't run from who you are. These are the decisions that led you down these path. This is the decision that led me down this path. And in the future, you're going to make decisions, and you'll end up where you are because of those decisions. You can't run for who you are. And it's very poignant. And this is a very clear sign that Jack is starting to slowly but surely." find his way again. He doesn't have his sword yet, but he's starting to slow, he's starting to learn once again the way of the samurai. And we're definitely going to see more of that in the next few weeks, but that's not the end of the episode just yet. Not just yet. Surely enough, the daughters of Aku track down Jack after finding his blood all over the place. They search around, and they see this, they have, there is this one beautiful sequence where the daughters of Aku are looking at this deer, and they say, Oh, what is this? And they just see, like, a, a male deer come up with the antlers, and they just assume that it must be a demon of Aku. It's probably going to devour that deer or whatever. And then, uh, they just see it give uh, the deer, like, nose kisses or whatever, Eskimo style, like, nose kisses, or like, uh, like, little, like little kisses on the mouth or whatever. What what deers do? They little they kiss on they kiss on the nose, and they're just confused by it. They think this makes no sense. This is I I don't like this. It doesn't make any sense. Which is in a way it's very sad because these women they they are tr it's not because they're just not, they're not inherently evil. They were just trained to be, and this is the only they don't know life outside of well being assassins and trying to kill the samurai. And they just worship Aku as this god, and they don't know, unfortunately, they don't really know 
the way outside of it, and it's kind of, they, they don't know how nature works, which is really sad. But anyway, they run, they finally find, they finally find the samurai, they finally found Jack, and he's basically hiding amongst the trees or whatever, and we see another repeat of what his father did. I'm going to give you a new choice. Leave here now, and you will live. Or stay and face your destiny. And, of course, like in the trailer, they say, Our destiny is your death. Show yourself, samurai, so you can die. Very well. And, surely enough, you just see everything go white because of the fog, and then Jack starts killing people. Again. Because this time, like, he's uh, like, you know what? Fuck it. All man for himself. Because... In the last episode, we saw Jack, he was having a hard time, he was getting his ass kicked. This time around, he's actually prepared. He takes a, he starts to fight people, he starts to take stabs, he start, he stabs one of them in the stomach, killing them. Uh, eventually, uh, slash, and, uh, just takes them all out one by one. And this really beautifully done animation sequence where it's, like, entirely a white background, but you can see him just, like, you can tell it's, like, all foggy. Just, and it's not like a fog filter or anything, it's like purely white, but you can see whenever he's running past the trees or whatever, and it looks really, really cool. And eventually, the fog starts to clear up, he's standing by a tree again with a staff in hand, and then the, the daughters of Aku once again go after him, they start to fight and whatnot, and then after all is done, they start to encounter each other, Jack fights one of the daughters of Aku directly, and then they all fall, like, she'll, he beats the shit out of them, and then they fall off the cliff or whatever, down to the snow, uh, presumably to their death, and then he fights Ashi, the girl from the first episode who was entranced by the outside. She's played by Tara Strong, and she does an amazing job, like, she's trying to fend for herself, and then she's, she ends up getting her ass kicked, and the little, uh, chain weapon thing, whatever that's called, like, is, she's holding on for dear life, because she's so determined to kill the samurai, it's like, you are cursed on this world, you must die, samurai, die, and then Jack's just like, she's, th this bitch is just not gonna quit, and then she just lets go, he just lets go of the chain, and then just lets her fall, because she's just not gonna stop, and then she falls down, presume, uh, and then, as Jack is about to walk off, Bra the the log that he's standing on starts to break off, and then he falls down, and that's the end of the episode. Whew, yeah, this one was really good. Uh, I really liked seeing the Jack flashback again. It's been a while since we've seen his parents without them being a part of Jack's damaged psyche. And uh, it's just really cool to see Jack in action again. Finally regaining his way, finally finding his way again, starting to slowly but surely finding his way again, and that's really comforting. This, as depressing as the second episode was, this gave us a glimmer of hope for the samurai. And yeah, he does still kill people, but at this point, he's trying, he's survival of the fittest. What's done is done. He's got to keep moving on if he wants to, like, live up to his destiny or whatever to save his, to go back to the past. He's just gonna have to live with the fact, like, this is what brought him here, these are the choices that brought him here, and he has to live with that. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what happened with him. The Daughters of Aku, the fight they had was really fun. It was also pretty cool. It was, it was still pretty gut-wrenching to see Jack, uh, just how brutal those fucking deaths were. Like, just getting jabbed in the stomach, holy shit. And, uh... All the daughters of Aku that fell down, I don't think Ashi is dead. Because it's very clearly hinted that, obviously, like, this is only episode 3 of season 5. So, actually, let me, let me think that. Yeah. yeah, this is only episode 3 of season... No, wait, no. Season 3, 4? Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the third episode of season 5. And... It, we still have, like, seven more episodes after this. And chances are, Jack is probably still alive. Jack is still alive, obviously. 
And I'm I'm willing to bet if Jack survived that, I'm pretty sure Ashi found a way to live through that too. So we're probably gonna get more character out of her. Maybe she's gonna persist in fighting the samurai again, and maybe she'll turn over a new leaf. Because if they don't, if they just kill her off like that, I'm just gonna be so disappointed. Like, oh, what? You had her looking out on the outside because she wanted to see what what life was like, and now you're just gonna kill her off like that? Whatever. I'm hoping she has more potential, and hoping that she uh, c continues to stick around. A lot of people are saying, oh, she fell to her death. No, she didn't. And I'm like, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. I'm I'm willing to bet that she is still alive, and she'll come back. Maybe not next episode, but maybe a few more. Because I know the next episode that's coming up, it's going to be Jack just entering the... I'm presuming a complete mindfuck, because I saw the way it looked, those previews. Whew! This is, uh, this is either going to be a filler episode, or this is just going to show Jack's growth and development once again. But whatever it is, it's got some freaky visuals. Uh, and I don't mean freaky as in disturbing. Well, maybe there will be. We'll see. But, holy crap. This is gonna be good. So, yeah. This episode was a lot of fun. I really like this, I really liked this episode. It gave me a nice glimmer of hope for Jack's future. I'm hoping that he continues to find his way as, these, as this miniseries continues. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Jack Vlog. Later.